Hey there, my name is Frank M. Ahern. I am a privacy consultant. I'm author of the New York Times bestseller, How to Disappear. I work with victims of romance scams, victims of blackmail, victims of stalking, and other types of digital and internet sort of issues. What I want to talk about is responsible dating. Okay, so this is for those of you out there who have not been scammed or at the point where you might be entering a scam. See, the problem that I notice with individuals who date online or digitally date mobile phone app to app is it moves quick. There's communications, there's, there's, there's this instantaneous relationship. What's not done is verification. Okay, because the romance scam or the person you're chatting with is often a foreign land, they're a deployed military, they're in a secret zone, they can't call you. They're on an oil rig, if they call you, the ship will blow up. They have all these excuses, okay? The problem is many victims reach this point where they have this feeling, and this is who my client is. My client is the one who says, you know, there's something strange about this relationship. They might be a fake, okay, or they might have discovered lies about them or uh, inaccuracies in their stories, but they need that one proof or further proof that proves the individual is a scammer. Now, you have two choices, or actually you have several choices. Number one, they lie, you can just walk away and say goodbye. Number two, you can confront them with, hey, you know, you said this, 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 and it's not true. Number three, you could also demand a face-to-face -face video. And when I say face-to-face -face video, I mean like this, clear, talking, hands moving, eyes blinking, everything. Talking about the weather, the day, how are you doing? Not some darkened video where you can hardly see the individual. So if you're at that point where you feel or you think the person you're involved with might be a fraud, I can guarantee you that they are probably or they are a fraud. So you have to make a decision of what to do. One of the mistakes or the buttons is individuals, they want to give the benefit of the doubt and they want to believe in the story they were told. They want to believe that this person they love or think they love is the engineer overseas or is the oil rig worker is the widower with the child in school they, they they want to believe it so the actions need to turn to yourself not so much the scammer then you're the one who needs to say to yourself this is fake and i need to do something about it some victims are lonely and some of them have said to me, Frank, fake love is better than no love at all. And that's a huge mistake because the person you're chatting with will take you for every dime you have. So if you think you're dating a romance scammer, chances are you are dating a romance scammer. So what do you do? You need to block them, get them out of your life, but be aware, okay? on your Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, whatever social media you have, they're there. They are probably a friend of yours using a different profile. So maybe in three months from now, or then, or whenever, they hit you up, start chatting again, and it begins again. So keep in mind, online dating is not the same as long distance dating, okay? We live in a world of technology and First thing you need to do with anyone you are chatting with online is have a live video. Hands moving, you know, they're moving, they're talking, they're having a conversation, not some darkened thing where you can't hardly see their face and they're half off camera and they're muzzling their mouth and things. It has to be real. So protect yourself from romance scams, know who you're chatting with, and remember. A photograph does not mean it's the person. A passport doesn't mean it's real. And a story told can be a lie. So be safe out there. And if you need help, I can be of assistance. My name is Frank M. Ahern, and you can visit my website. Good luck, stay safe, and don't believe everything you're told.